Good day everybody. Today is Monday the 28th of March and today it's a weekend drive. Today I'm working from like 7 o'clock in the morning till 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's all good. Uh, and today the, the loads are all the same. It's just you go load up and you do it one container at a time. You just pull them off and get them loaded. And then you go dump it at the heating plant and you just keep on going like that all day. The place you go load up at is called the Tog in it. It's out in a place called Hisingen on the other side of town. So, but you just go back fort. So, it's a very easy drive actually. So anyway, I just got off uh, from lunch now. Today I did something I've actually never done before. <laughs> I took lunch at home. I, I parked it up on up in this like park in here. Uh, and uh, I just walked down to my <laughs> to my apartment and I and I ate lunch here. The reason I did that was because I had originally planned to like eat at this uh, kebab place that's in uh, Gamlestan or uh, Bellevue there. And the thing was, I got there and it's like they hadn't they hadn't opened up yet. I mean, they had opened up, but they hadn't started yet. So they were like, "Oh, come back at like 11." I was like, "Oh shit!" So it was like another 30 minutes until 11 o'clock, 20, 30 minutes. So I was like, what am I going to do? So I thought maybe I'll go eat a hamburger. Or I was like, wait a second, I can just swing by home and eat, eat, eat lunch at home. So that's what I did anyway. Parked the truck there, got some lunch, got some nice coffee. And now I'm on my way back to the heating plant. Once I get to the heating plant, all I'm going to do is just pull on a, my, one of my containers and hook up uh, a couple of the, a couple of the, with the trailer and uh, get going to get the next load. Because uh, before I went on lunch, what I did was I emptied all my containers, and then then once I had pulled on uh, I pulled off the uh, last container on the tra trailer, and I just got going after that. So that's what's good when you drive a truck with a trailer. It's very easy to just like if, if you need to go somewhere but you don't want to have have the trailer with you, you just uncouple and you go. So that's a good thing. There's no, there's no like if you have a regular tractor trailer, you have the landing gear, you got to take down and all that. There's none of that. You just don't couple and go. So that's one of the advantages to driving one of these truck and trailers. So, anyway, other than that, the weather is looking really nice today. As you can see, the sun is out. And it's, it's actually kind of warm. I mean, considering it's only March, it's kind of warm. So that's nice. Anyway, I'll be filming a little more once I get to Togan and I'm gonna load up and all that. Hello again. Well, now I'm at Togan and I'm gonna get my third load of the day. It's looking good here. Two of the trucks over here just finished up and there's a third one coming in, so I'm gonna get probably get my load pretty quickly this time. So had a mind to see. Oh yeah, it's opening that way, okay. I just want to make sure the container is opening towards the way I thought, uh, towards the right side, like the way I thought it wasn't short. So, just gonna go pull this thing off and we'll get the next one. Alright, that's the first container. smell out here. I don't know really how to describe it, but you can really smell it. It's like a...
on this thing pretty heavy. It feels heavy. It doesn't go straight, straight right. It goes like it doesn't go straight on right away. It's like it goes so it sways a little bit to like left, I guess, and then 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 it goes straight. It doesn't just go nice and straight all the way. So I think something might be messed up with the container. Better slow down a little. It's very uneven here. You know, you gotta you gotta watch out. Otherwise, you're gonna end up dropping a container. Close the roof on this thing right now. And then I'm done. This is a new drill, it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, that's about it for now. But I'll film a little more on the way to the heating plant and maybe the lead heating plant too. third load so got a couple hours left to work too we got about uh, two, two hour oh three hours and 45 minutes no excuse me two hours and 45 minutes so see how much I get maybe I'll get only four loads or if I'm lucky I'll get five let's see They had uploaded two, two loads of compost in the computer, but they had it, so just fine. It's not like I was supposed to drive that today or anything. Anyway, time to dump this container. Oh, I made a little trouble before. 
work it. Well, that'll do the trick. I'm just pulling off here. It's like fuck it, it's a weekend drive, so it's fine. Nobody's complained yet. <laughs> I'm done with this load anyway, so that's good. Hello again. Now I'm on my way out from the Togna with what could be my last load. Um, not sure if it's going to be my last load though, because I got loaded in this fall, so I got loaded really quickly. But uh, I'll see. Anyway, if it is the last load, then good. If not, that's better, of course. <laughs> But uh, uh, I was gonna say uh, tomorrow anyway. I'm uh, I'm not working tomorrow, but tomorrow I'm gonna have an interview. And it's about that job I was talking about last week. Uh, the one with driving one of those transfer trucks. So I'm gonna call that guy around maybe 10:30, 11 o'clock, and see, see what's up. And then, uh, I'm supposed to meet him up and have an interview. So let's we'll see what he's got to say. I'm kind of thinking that I might stay here and maybe maybe just give uh, this company I'm at or, or no, but give them a give them a good six months to see what happens. Even if the chances of steady employment aren't so good right now, things could change. So I'm kind of thinking of maybe maybe staying here, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna go 
talk to that guy tomorrow in an interview and uh, see what he's got to offer. Because the thing with that job is, I like this job, that guy is offering full-time employment right off the bat and uh, with, with a chance of, uh, of st steady employment. So that's definitely de desirable. But there's a couple things I have to check. I want to be able to check with this guy if, if I can take these uh, three days off in the summer like I was talking about. And also, I want to see if I can film at, at the job. I don't know if I can do that there. If I can't film at a job, then I have to stop this trucking log, and uh, I don't want to do that. So, so those are two two things I have to ask him. If he's cool with both of those two things, maybe I'll change. Maybe I'll give it a shot because uh, driving a transfer truck is pretty cool. And uh, also, like I said, there's a chance of there's a good chance of steady employment there. So, something which there's not at this company at the time being. See what happens. And as far as the rest of the week goes, well, Wednesday is just another eight-hour day shift. And then Thursday, Friday is going to be two. It's going to be the ten-hour shifts back to back, except with different trucks. On Friday, uh, unless if they change the schedule, I don't know if they are, but if they do, if, you know, oh, excuse me, if they don't, then I'm going to be driving that uh, one of the new trucks, the truck I was driving in my first vlog video. So that's nice. special this week. I'm gonna get about 36 hours of work, so almost full time. It's pretty close. Plus, uh, plus this is a, the, the first day this week and, uh, is now is today on Monday is, uh, is a, the, the weekend drive. So even though it's it's not full time at 36 hours, it, it's, it's still gonna pay like it's full time anyway, maybe even more. So that's good. Hello again. Now I'm back at the eating plant and uh, I'm going to dump the last load. Skip filming on when I was going to dump the, dump the fourth load, uh, but I'm going to film now anyway. So, reason being, I figured I had to focus a little more. Go and get, go and make sure I get, get five loads. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a little overtime today, about an hour, but it's all good. We got five loads at the end of the day, so it's not bad. Thing is, I got a little delayed with that break at the took when I went to my old place today. Because that restaurant was closed, they were gonna open for like another 20 30 minutes. So, you know, on the way, on the way to get the uh, target and to get the load, I saw this car accident. That was like a really stupid car accident. Should have seen it. It's like, uh, it was like two cars that smashed into each other, and then the, the, the one of those cars that had then they had smashed into each other, and one of the cars was like up the back of it was up in the air because they had smashed them between between the barrier on the on the freeway and and, and that other car. So some of that had pushed it so that so that it had the backside of it had lifted up. <laughs> I I just I don't know how these people managed to to get an accident like that, but <laughs> it, it, it looked pretty crazy. But anyway. Like it didn't seem like nobody was hurt, but uh, man, that accident was something else. Oh, that's nice. Emptying, emptying nicely. That's nice. He's from Renova Kungel. dumping too. Been getting his loads and targeting him today. I've, been see, I've, I've seen him over there. So he gets a little different loads though. Okay, let's go dump it. After that, it's just one more container, and I'm done. Finally, go home. Thank you. 
around here. Oh yeah. Enjoyed watching. 